Welcome everybody to my first top five plays of the week. This is your boy Greek Gamer. Let's get into the clips. Coming in at number five this week. We have myself for number five. Now I know I said I wouldn't put myself too much in this. I think this is my only actual clip from me this week. Now, this is a riot your average game on instinct. And me and my friends are just having some fun. You know, and I was like, guys, watch this. I'm about to hit this pot shot. And all I can say is how did I hit these guys? Friendly UAV above. Coming in at number four this week, it is me playing this map. I forgot what the name of it is. I think it is a death match. And we are playing, and you may have seen the first collat from my mini Taj that I had uploaded a couple days ago. But I do not think that anybody has seen the second collat. Yes, I got almost back-to-back -back collaterals on this map. Now, in GTA 5, getting one collateral is amazing enough. Harder, most likely, than Call of Duty. But I hit two. Yes, two collats. As you will see later in this clip. I just have no words. It was all luck. Coming in at number three this week, we have Quantum Plague, aka Chris. We're playing Terrace S and D, and he pulls off the best counter defuse of all time. I mean, look at that. He wasn't even hiding. He was visible, clear as day. We just have a blind man on our hands. Coming in at number two this week, it's Beyond Insanity. Now, we're playing the mission Los Santos Connection. He's in the Shamal plane that you're supposed to be blowing up, and all I can say is that this is how real men take care of the objective. Good job. at number one this week is killing death with the 3v1 rw1 scope clutch gets the one off the bomb carrier now before the clip finishes i just wanted to ask you guys if you like the video to slap that like button and subscribe he comes around this corner me and my buddy colton don't know what to do because we're freaking out he gets the second he comes around hits the quick scope with the rw1 ladies and gentlemen we have a god on our hands 